Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet your personalized tour band. Let's go! First thing to do is make a slip knot. And then chain. Make a slip stitch down there from the second chain. Make a slip stitch, insert your hook, and then yarn over and pull it through. That's it. Next, make a slip stitch in all the chains. Insert your hook, yarn over, and pull it through. second row for the second row make a slip stitch on the back loop only back loop of the chain so let's see it continue to make a slip stitch all around So that's it. That's how simple it is. Chain one and turn your work. Then slip stitch again all over around. It's a very simple, isn't it? Again, turn your work. That's the only cycle for this process. Then slip stitch, and then chain one, and turn your work. It's so easy and simple. It's a very friendly beginner, beginner friendly. Oh, vice versa. <laughs> So, the process is very simple. Just make 10 slip stitch in each row and then chain one, turn your work and then make 10 slip stitch again and chain one, turn your work and 10 slip stitch, chain one and 
enter your work and so on and so forth until you get to 14 inches the total of 14 inches so I see you when I get there so we already have our 14 inches and we're on our last row we're almost finish it That's it. We already connected it. Tie it tightly. So yarn, it's already connected. We already have our turban. Let's see it. So now. 
next I'm gonna show you how to put a name on this turban by using the other color of yarn and I'm also using a smaller hoop for this just look at it on how I'm going to do this So the name that I'm going to stitch is Kaya. That's it. We already have form letter K. So next letter is Y.
teaching the Y, letter Y. So, see you when I'm done stitching the whole name. So, that's it. We're already done stitching the whole name. It's Kyle. Next, we will be going to lock it using our yarn needle. Lock it letter by letter. Do the finishing touch, just flip your work on the back side and then lock it tightly. Then cut the existing yarns. Just lock it using your yarn needle. So what we're gonna do here is we will be lacking it using our yarn needle one by one and cut the existing yarn. So just make sure to lock it tightly so it will not be Hope you like it please like and subscribe thank you for watching bye bye